today is the 31st of October and I'm just starting a few bits with this today. I'm not going to do a lot because um, I've got a bit of a headache. The weather's not particularly great today. I'm just not feeling it at the moment. Um, a few days of rain again and it's just started to dry out. So just, um, just getting on with some little bits. Bracket on the back to hold the seat down. I think I might do the chain guard. So now we have got the seat plate in there, that's all uh, welded in so that I can remove the seat if I needed to, get to any components or anything, wiring etc and it holds that nice and firm as well which is nice, which wasn't bolted in in the first place, it didn't have no fixture on it. So. Yeah, that's good now. I'm gonna get on with some other bits now. Might start building the uh, the chain guard now. Not sure how I'm gonna do that, but I'm, that's what I think I'm gonna do. So what I've ended up doing is um, cutting that bit of plate that I use for the actual bracket of the uh, the motor. I've just cut the off cut for that, and it's in there quite nicely like that and then possibly what I'm gonna do never throw you off cuts away guys all right because these are gonna be like little spaces once I've trimmed these down they're gonna be spaces the bit that I've just cut out for the rear seat for that for the seat mounting I'm probably gonna use something like this sitting there like that what I'm gonna do is tack weld these bits here cut sections out and bend it so that's the plan that's what I'm gonna do so yeah we'll see how we go so I've just got the plate in there I've just cut this little bit of box section up and I've marked it up so I can bend these bits to make um, make like a chain guard so that sort of will go in there and, and arc around Time is 2.40, the sun is not too far away of going down, but I have made the plate for the chain guard. I'm quite happy with that, I didn't record any of it because um, it would have just been a waste of uh, your time. Quite happy with that, I still need to um, to tidy some of the welds up um, because I've done a lot of moulding and shaping it and yeah had to uh, because of the motor 
um, the gear. It sticks out quite a bit, so I've had to give it some room behind there. Um, but it's real solid. Like I say, it's only protection for the for the chain. Um, so if you're coming off, if it does come off and whip into the, the batteries, I don't want to do that. That's how I've done mine. So it might give you guys some ideas of um, how you would do it. Um, or have you done it a different way? Have you done it sort of similar? Have you got one at all? Um, but that's how I've done mine. I'm going to start packing up now because uh, it's going to get dark soon and uh, I'm hungry, I haven't eaten all day. Um, so yeah, that's that's as far as I've got today. Um, I've done the seat thing here, which is, um, which is all right. Done that there. So I'm quite happy with that today. I'm actually pleased I came out because um, I didn't really feel like doing anything this morning. So yeah, I'm quite quite happy with that today. I spent all day on that, but um, that needed to be done in my eyes. So yeah, that's all good.